a little on the lighter side, we recently had the presidential debates, okay? Who watched, just show of hands, who watched the debate between Trump and Biden? Show of hands. Just, just you two? <laughs> All right, so really serious dating question here, totally dating related. If you had to choose, Nick, pull up the photos, would you date uh, Joe Biden or President Trump? Oh my God. You have to choose one. God. In their current state, you can't be like young Trump, you know? Which, so Brooklyn, <laughs> you gotta date one. Oh my God. Which one do you pick? To date, you, don't worry about their politics. Or maybe do, uh, maybe worry about their <laughs> politics, I don't know. I'm gonna go Joe Biden because he doesn't have the greatest memory and I think I could use that <clears throat> to my advantage. <laughs> okay, all okay. right, interesting. Well, and so how would you use it to your advantage? I would take it day by day and probably come up with something malicious every single day to, you know, get what I want, but mm. I know his memory loss would definitely help our situation. You just start, you know, <laughs> siphoning from his bank account. Exactly. Just Put taking, your name in his will. Siphoning. Okay. Just takes that. Good to know. All right. She, the dementia patient. All right. What about you? <laughs> it's real tough choice to very solid candidates, but I think I would probably Very go solid. With yeah. Choice. Yeah. Great. Very high volume men. Um, I'd probably go for Donald Trump just because I think he'd be very interesting to see how he is behind closed doors. Behind closed doors? He'd never get bored. <laughs> not in that. Wait, can you justify that a little bit? <laughs> like, who is he when he's not putting on a face? Oh, okay. Are you, like, saying that he's, like, better? Anyways, um, what about you? Uh, I'll go with Biden. Neither are my type, but I would go with Biden. Okay. I feel like Trump. Like you'd smash Biden instead of Trump. You got uh, smashed, too. Like it's I have just... to smash? Yeah, it's the, like, this is your life partner for like the three years they're gonna <laughs> still be alive. That's a, not, I'm not, that's not a well, threat. Well, Biden's Secret older, service. right? Just... I feel like you should pick Trump, Trump so we're not fucking the same man. Oh. Mm, but Trump's wife is just, Well, assume you know. she doesn't seem like she's getting pleased, so maybe Biden has a few tricks up his sleeve. He's Wait, a, Trump's, he's wife, older Trump's wife isn't getting pleased? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you'd pick Trump? Biden. No, Biden. Oh, Biden, okay, what about? Yeah, we'd have to take turns. Okay, what about you? I don't even know. Probably Trump. I don't even know. Like, neither of them are. Mm. Like, you're, if you're sitting here making me pick one right now. You gotta, yeah, you gotta pick. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Trump. Okay. What about you? Well, it's a catch-22. Because personally, me, Lizzie, would choose Trump. But then my family would disown me. So fine. Biden then, I guess. Okay. It's a tough, it's a tough one. All right. What about you? Um, I'd probably choose Biden. The orange and the toupee just don't do it for me. Does he have a toupee? I thought it was... I've seen I the wind. Was... I've seen evidence. I don't know if it's true. I thought it's just but... like a comb over. Mm -hmm. but it's, you know? Either way, it doesn't do it for me. Okay. All right. <laughs> what about you? I'm going to go Trump. Going to go Trump? Yeah, okay. Go Trump. All right. Uh, Trump, unfortunately. Maddie, which one? <laughs> Trump, for sure. Okay. There you go. All right. There you have it, folks. Um, Andrew, which... Uh, Andrew, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to think who the Kamala Harris or I don't know Tul Tulsi Gabbard. I don't know. That's not fair. You Hillary. don't remember. You don't. You don't remember Trump's wife's name. Well, I was thinking Melania? like who would run for Melania? for Pret? Like who would actually run for office? But so I guess Melania. <coughs> Yeah, but she's not going to run. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. If you want to answer, I guess, Andrew. But um, So, I mean, if, if it came down to Tulsi Gabbard or, um, you know, like, you know, Kamala Harris, then definitely yeah. Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah. If it came down to uh, Trump's wife, Melania, or any of these democrat women it would be it would definitely be melania so i mean yeah basically across the board i would pick the republican chick there's no doubt about that all right good to know good to know we're gonna just jump right into uh some of our pre-show stuff here really quick so i think wait what was the other thing we had to react to nick 
Yeah, actually, I'm going to do two chats, and then we'll get into, we'll do some uh, clip reactions. So, uh, can I have you, I don't know if you can see, can I have you read? Yeah. Uh, question for the table, including the men. What is a bigger step in the relationship? The first kiss or the first the? purposeful loud fart? <laughs> One means more kisses, the other means less stomach aches. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, what's the bigger step in the relationship? First kiss or first? I'm going to go with the guess. fart because it took me like six years and it was an accident. The fart is a bigger step in a relationship, yeah. yeah. I would think for the man it would be the kiss and for the woman it's the fart for sure. Okay. Oh. I would say the fart because it's, <laughs> that's embarrassing. And I mean, I feel like I would be embarrassed. It was yeah. an accident when it first happened with me, too. I accidentally made my man pancakes. We weren't cooked all the way through. I was running to the bathroom and he heard me. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. No, I would definitely say the fart. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to say first kiss. It's more romantic. I want fart. No. But bigger step. You're like, well, okay, then I haven't we... taken that step, and I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, so all right. What about you? The fart, for sure. The fart. The kiss. Mm, okay. I'd say the, f I'd, the fart, for sure. I don't know. First kiss is just... That's I a throwaway like... first date. <laughs> but you ain't, you ain't farting on the first date. I mean, unless it's that, you know, whatever. But, all right. Some, people Some really kiss. just thought-provoking questions coming in. Thank you, John's, John Smith. And I'll just pull this last chat up. Uh, anybody here read French? Okay, I'll have to do it. La Révolution Culturelle, merci beaucoup. Abonnez-vous à ma chaîne YouTube québécois pour de revues de. I can't read French very well. D'actualité virale, de exorcisme, de Princesse Disney. Et des résumés de livres chaque semaine, La Révolution Culturelle avec Jan Rochdy. Okay, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, send that shit in English next time, though. Uh, we're gonna get into immediately some reacts. You guys have you guys had one specific viral clip, but we have actually quite a few clips from your guys' podcast. Very entertaining.